Well, as many of you know, the gun deer hunt starts tomorrow, and you may not know that deer car collisions actually spike this time of the year. So News 3's Mark Lovacott joins us now with a lesson, of all things, on roadkill. Yeah, we thought we'd keep with the deer hunting theme, and I never thought I'd have to give a lesson in roadkill, but here we go. It is ugly, it is smelly, but it really is part of everyday life for most commuters. Tens of thousands of animals are killed every single year in Wisconsin because of car collisions, but what happens to roadkill? Doug from Verona wanted to know, and it's this week's Good Question. It's not pretty, but it's a sight drivers see nearly every day. Whether it's a skunk, a deer, or another animal, roadkill is everywhere. There's a lot of jobs that you know we all have to do that, that we don't like, but yeah, they, uh, they, do, they do it, and uh, they're, they're happy to do it. Rob Phillips helps explain the city's role in the not-so-flattering job of clearing roadkill. Someone's got to do it, and it's the night crew that has the pleasure of cleaning up the mess. Typically squirrels, raccoons, possums, that's what we typically get. What they don't get are deer. That's the state's job. Generally gets picked up by a car kill deer contractor, which the state contracts with that person to do that. There's a handful of contractors statewide who clean up the 26,000 deer hit by cars every year. The orange spray paint markings mean the roadkill has been reported. And whether it's deer or other smaller animals, most of the car casualties end up here in the landfill. But there is one exception. I think there's about 4,000 people that have uh, in, in last year that, that picked up deer and took them home with them. It's perfectly legal. Just call the sheriff's department and they'll issue you a tag. But just don't pull a Tommy <laughs> was awesome. <laughs> the city of Madison says they rely on citizens to report roadkill and they will generally get to it within the next day or two. The easiest way, by the way, is to do that online. We've set up a link at channel3000.com. For folks outside of Madison, the best bet is to contact your local city hall. One of my favorite Chris Farley We ended up watching a few uh, Chris Farley clips in the newsroom today as a result of that. <laughs> He's a missed guy. Well done. Yeah. Thanks, Mark. Sure.